Hello everyone. Welcome to Aesthetic Footic. So in this video, I am going to discuss about structure of protein. Before watching this video, I am recommending you to watch my previous videos about amino acids. Then only you will clearly understand the structure of protein. Link will be given in the description. Let us begin with an introduction. Proteins are macronutrients and they are composed of many units of amino acids. They are also called as nitrogenous organic compounds. The primary function is bodybuilding. And also in protein, amino acids are connected together. The bond between two amino acids is known as peptide bond. In other words, we can say that protein is a polypeptide chain or polymer of amino acid. There are mainly four levels of protein structure or in other words we can say that structure of protein is explained based on this. The four levels are primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure and quaternary structure. Primary structure of protein. In primary structure amino acids are linked together by peptide bond or covalent bond. Also in a polypeptide chain an amino acid is called as a residue or moiety. Amino acids in a primary structure are arranged as linear segments that is primary structure is not folded. It has unfolded structure. The nature of polypeptide chain is that the COOH or carboxyl end of or carboxyl group of first amino acid is attached to the NH2 group or amino group of second amino acid. This type of bonding is fallout in a polypeptide chain. From the given picture, the formation of peptide bond will be clear. That is, COOH group or carboxyl group of first amino acid is attached to the NH2 group or amino group of second amino acid. What happens is that an OH group is or OH is released from the carboxyl group. Also, a hydrogen is released from the NH2 group during peptide bond formation and water is released as a result of this. As a result of the combination of two amino acids to form polypeptide chain, water is released. The bond formed is CONH bond and this is called as peptide bond and it's a covalent bond. I hope that you understood. So please observe the figures clearly for understanding the peptide bond or formation of peptide bond. Secondary structure of protein. Secondary structure of protein is formed by the combination of many primary structures and the bond there is hydrogen bond. So many primary structures are joined together by hydrogen bond to form secondary structure. And next, where this hydrogen bond is formed, we want to know that. The place where hydrogen bond formed is that we have a carbonyl group and NH group. This CONH group forms peptide bond that we already discussed in primary structure. The hydrogen bond is formed between the oxygen of carbonyl group and hydrogen of NH group. So here hydrogen bond is formed and in this manner many primary structures are linked together or combined to produce secondary structure. The hydrogen bond formed will be between the amino acids of same polypeptide chain or different polypeptide chain. I am telling it because in secondary structure many primary structures are joined together. So one primary structure is a polypeptide chain and another primary structure will have another polypeptide chain. So in a secondary structure there are many primary structure which means that there are many different or many or different polypeptide chain. So hydrogen bond can form between amino acids of same polypeptide chain or amino acids of different polypeptide chain to produce secondary structure. Secondary structure mainly have two conformations and they are alpha helix and beta plated structure. Alpha helix structure. In this, when amino acid residues have close interaction together, this results in the formation of or this results in the folding of polypeptide chain. As a result, polypeptide chain attains a coil shape or coil structure like a rope wound on a cylinder or around a cylinder. Mostly such folding occur in the right-handed side. Also, 
This kind of structures have a screw type symmetry and was invented by Pauling and Cauchy. These are scientists who invented this kind of structure. I have given the figure so you can clearly understand the structure. In beta pleated structure, polypeptide chain attach side by side and it have a pleated structure. Beta pleated structure may be parallel or anti-parallel. Parallel structure means that the bone form this as shown in the figure that is it in a parallel manner or it is in one direction that is NH group of one polypeptide chain is attached to the CO group of another polypeptide chain in a parallel manner that is in one direction. All amino acids of the particular polypeptide chain follow this that is NH group of that particular polypeptide chain will be attaching to the CO group of another polypeptide chain which means that the NH group of amino acids present in a particular polypeptide chain will attach to the CO group of amino acids present in the another polypeptide chain. The direction will be N to C and this direction will be followed in the all polypeptide chain. All amino acids will follow this. That's why it's named as parallel. The direction is one direction. NH group is attached to CO group of other and this is followed in the entire manner and fully this is followed. But in the anti-parallel structure, it is not in this manner. That is, the NH group of amino acid in the first polypeptide chain is attached to the CO group of amino acid in the second polypeptide chain. During the next time, the CO group of amino acid in the first polypeptide chain will be attaching to the NH group of amino acid in the second polypeptide chain. So this manner, it occurs alternatively. If you observe the figure, you will clearly understand what it means. Please keep in mind one thing. Hydrogen bond can also be formed between amino acids of the same polypeptide chain that I have already explained at the starting of secondary structure. So please keep in mind while learning about beta pleated structure that is anti-parallel and parallel structure. The amino acids or the hydrogen bonds formed will be between the amino acids of same polypeptide chain or different that is a speciality of secondary structure so please keep it in mind tertiary structure of protein tertiary structure of protein is formed by the combination of or folding of secondary structure as a result a globular ellipsoidal shape is formed the bond present there is disulfide bond hydrogen bond ionic bond and hydrophobic bond Quaternary structure is a complex structure of protein and it's the fourth level of protein structure. It is formed by the combination of primary, secondary and tertiary structures of protein. The bond formed is disulfide bond, hydrophobic bond, ionic bond and hydrogen bond. There are homogeneous and heterogeneous quaternary structure. In homogeneous quaternary structure, the polypeptide chains present are of same kind and are identical. But in heterogeneous quaternary structure, the polypeptide chain present will be non-identical. 